In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at solving first order differential equations, which are separable. This is something that you would be doing in a Calc 1 class. Obviously, there are second order and third order degree um, differential equations, which would be tackled in a, in a subsequent course after Calc 1. But um, in this video, I'm just going to do really simple differential equations. Each of the equations, I'm going to work out two examples. Each of the equations are separable, which means that it's easy to separate the variables and put all the y's on one side and put all the x's on the other side, and then it makes it a relatively simple procedure here. Um, on the left hand side I have steps lined out so that if you can follow these steps then you will pretty much be able to solve any type of first order differential equation as long as you can get those variables separated. So step one would be to separate the variables meaning put all the y's I choose on the left and all the x's on the right. Okay, So you separate those variables and then you are going to integrate both sides once you have completed um, the integration there, you will then have the general solution. Okay, If there were no constraints given, then you would be done because that's the best you could come up with. All right. However, if you are given constraints, such as in this example here, solve this equation given the ordered pair 0, 4, this would be a constraint. All right, You're going to use those. You're going to plug 0 in for x and 4 in for y and then you can solve that equation for c. Once you have the value of c then you can write it into that general solution which would then give you a particular solution. So just a uh, pretty clear uh, procedure for solving differential equations that are separable. Alright so on this first equation right here I've got dy over dx equals 2x over the x squared minus 9. Alright so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to separate those variables. So on this one the only thing I have to do is get rid of that dx. I need to move it to the other side of the equation. So just starting right here multiply both sides by dx. Alright and that dx crosses out right there which then would leave me with um, dy is equal to 2x over the x squared minus 9 and then dx. Alright, so I definitely have separated them at that point. Alright, step two is to integrate both sides. So integrate the left and integrate the right. Okay, there is a little imaginary one that's sitting right there. Okay, so when you integrate one and it's with a dy, that's going to give you a y. Alright, now I usually rewrite this integral on the right hand side. So the integral of 2x over x squared minus 9 dx. All right, now from here, um, as opposed to carrying this y all the way down, I focus on this integration, which most of the time is going to be a u substitution, and I carry that down, and then I just put the y on at the end because I know it's going to be there. So looking here to do the integration right here, I'm going to do a u substitution, and I'm going to let my u be that x squared minus 9. So I'm going to let u equal x squared minus 9. Take the derivative of both sides there. I'm going to have du equals a 2x dx. Dividing both sides by that 2x, then du over 2x equals dx. Okay. All right, now I'm going to come up here and do my substitutions for my u substitution. And again, like I said, I'm not going to keep carrying that y over. We'll put that on at the end. So I'm going to have the integral of the 2x is going to stay. I'm going to replace the x squared minus 9 with the u. I'm going to replace dx with du over 2x. Okay, that's going to allow me to cross out the 2x's. So then I will have the integral of 1 over u du. And hopefully, um, if you're working with differential equations, then you should recognize this integral as the natural log of the absolute value of u. So natural log absolute value of u, and then plus c. And I need to then replace u with what it is. So then I've got the natural log absolute value x squared minus 9 plus c. Okay, so now the integration is done, and then like I said, that y, I wasn't going to carry it all the way down, all right, but I do need that y on this left-hand side, so I'm going to go ahead and add it right here. All right, now at this point, this right here is the general solution, all right, and if they did not give you any constraints, 
If they had not given me this 0, 4, then I would be done right there. I would have a general solution for this differential equation. However, they did give us a constraint. So now what I can do is I can let x equal 0, I can let y equal 4, plug in a 0 in here, plug in a 4 in here, and then that will allow me to solve this equation for c. Okay, so I do think I'm going to do that on another piece of paper. Okay, so I'm going to rewrite that general solution just so we see it again. Okay, so we had general solution from the previous piece of paper as y equals natural log absolute value x squared minus 9 plus c, and our constraint was a 0, 4. Okay, so x is 0, y is 4. So I'm going to plug those values in. So I'm going to plug a 4 in for y. Natural log, absolute value, 0 squared minus 9 plus c. Okay, in here, taking the absolute value of a negative 9 is going to give me 9. All right, absolute value, that's positive 9. I can drop those absolute value bars all together. So 4 equals natural log of 9 plus c. Subtract natural log of 9 from both sides. 4 minus natural log of 9 equals c. Okay, so I found my value of c. All right, to get that particular solution now, I'm going to take this value of c and plug it back into that general solution where my c was. So my particular solution is going to be y equals natural log, absolute value, x squared minus 9. Now replace c with... 4 minus natural log of 9. So then now we have both a general solution and a particular solution for that example. Alright, um, that was first one, straightforward, not too bad there. So now let's take a look at one that would be a little more challenging. Okay, so maybe um, something's got some trig functions in it. So maybe a dy over a dx equals a secant squared x over a tangent x plus 1. And let's say we're given the ordered pair pi 4. Okay, now still pretty simple equation right here. Definitely a first order differential equation. And it's going to be real easy to separate these variables because everything on the right already has my x's and there's only the one little x on that left hand side. So first step would be to separate those variables. So I'm going to multiply both sides by the dx. All right, and dx on the left-hand side then would cross out. So that would give me um, dy is equal to a secant squared x over the tangent x plus 1 with the dx over there. All right, at that point then, step 2 is to integrate both sides. All right, and I always show that in a different color just so it kind of stands out as that's the next step you're going to do. Don't forget there's the imaginary 1 sitting right there. So when I integrate 1 with a dy, that's going to give me my y. I'm going to rewrite that integral. Integral of secant squared x over tangent x plus 1 dx. Okay, looking at this, you're going to need a u substitution again. So we're going to let... All right, now stop and think about this. Mm, if I take the derivative of tangent, I'm going to get a secant squared, so I'm going to let that u be that denominator. So u is going to be equal to tangent x plus 1. So du then would be secant squared x dx. And I can divide both sides by that secant squared x. So du over secant squared x equals dx. Okay, now I'm going to come up here and I'm going to replace and do some substitutions. And again, not going to carry that y over. I'm not going to put it over there until I get to the end. Okay, so I'm going to integrate here. Um, it'll, I'll have the secant squared x remaining on top. I'll put my u in on the bottom. Replacing the dx with du over the secant squared x. All right, again, this one turns out to be pretty nice because those secant squared x's fall out. And that's going to leave me with the integral of 1 over u du. Okay, at this point, we know that 
This integrates to the natural log, absolute value of u plus c. And I can replace u with what it is. So natural log, absolute value, tangent x plus 1, and then plus c. And now I'm going to bring in the y so that I have an actual equation there. Tangent x plus 1, absolute value there. Okay, so this is the general solution. Now I'm going to come up and I'm going to look at my constraints. They did give me some. This is going to be my value for x. This is going to be my value for y. So I'm going to um, use that and find the particular solution. So here, let's be a little more specific here. Using pi over pi 4. Okay, I'm going to take y equals natural log, absolute value, tangent x plus 1 plus c. Now let's replace the y with 4, and let's replace the x with the pi, tangent pi plus 1 plus c. Okay, now it's a matter of evaluating this. Inside here, I can do tangent of 0, or a tangent of pi rather is 0, so I can get a 0 right there. So 4 equals natural log absolute value 0 plus 1. All right, adding there, I get a 1. Absolute value of 1, there's just going to be 1. So natural log of 1, I'll go ahead and write one extra step in there. Natural log of 1 plus C. We know natural log of 1 is 0. This right here is going to be 0. So my constant C there is going to be a 4. Now I'm going to take that and rewrite it into the general solution, putting it right there for my particular solution. So the particular solution is going to be y equals natural log absolute value tangent of x plus 1 and then plus 4. So there we have the general solution and the particular solution for a second example, this one involving some pretty simple trig functions. All right, so definitely thanks for watching. Just a couple easy first order differential equations that are definitely separable that is usually done in a Calc 1 class. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and um, share with your friends as well. Thanks.